I didn't know Kelly's new girlfriend was a redhead. Oh, I think I need more liquor. I'm not ready. I'll get it. <laughs> Hi, Meredith. This is Penny. Penny, this is Meredith. Penny, it's a pleasure. Won't you come in? Okay. You can put your coats right in here. Can I get either of you something to drink? Beer, wine, margarita. Oh, margarita sounds good, but I'm on call, so club soda with lime. I'm fine. What? No. <laughs> I'm the one on call, not you. Come on, have some fun tonight. I'm driving. White wine for you? Yeah, white wine for her. Quick, coming right up. Here we go. Hi. Hi. This is Dr. April Kepper. This is Betty. Yeah, yeah, sure. Um, Kepner's on trauma. Uh, her husband is on plastics, although maybe not her husband. Yeah, we, we don't know. They, they might not know, but um, his mother owns the place. Oh, but it's not nepotism. He's great. At last, we get to see the legendary Penny. Hi. 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 Yeah. Whatever she told you about us, just ignore it. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you're lovely. She didn't lie. No. She's very, very happy of you. <laughs> Welcome. It's all through. <laughs> kind of chaotic right now, but don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> Food's in there. Or will be. Stand by. Okay. <laughs> Amelia's chief of Nero. She's a little volatile. But outstanding. <laughs> Sit down. Gosh, I've moved all over. Um, three naval bases in the States, Guam, Bahrain. Whoa. Hold on, we lived in Bahrain. Get out. It's the hospital. This is Dr. Torres. My uh, mom's a petroleum seismologist. Every two years, new school, new language, new food. <laughs> I was in college before I ever tried mac and cheese. Mm, gosh, well, try telling a class your name is Arizona. No, honey, not where you're from. What's your name? <laughs> okay. All right, you had it worse. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get that, would you? Yeah, I'll finish. Hey, well, I've got to go check on a posterior shoulder dislocation at the ER. I tried to talk the fellow through it, but he's an idiot. So oh, thank you for having us. No, no, no. You stay and have fun. This won't take long. No, I'd rather I'll, I'll keep you company. <laughs> Penny should stay, right? Sure. I'll be back in no time. Hmm. Alex, get another drink. What are you drinking? Uh, white wine. Hopefully Robin doesn't drink it all. Hey. Do me a favor. I feel really bad leaving. Will you keep an eye on her and make sure she has fun? Thank you. <laughs> hey, hey hi. hi. Oh, good. We did this dinner. <sighs> See, I told you. I was only going to be a minute. <sighs> so, um... Whoa, what's going on? <laughs> um, Penny's coming to work with us. Oh, this is Penny. Wait for it. You told them. I thought we were going to wait until... Penny we... killed Derek. Please, can we just uh, talk? What did you just say? Penny, you said work at... Uh... She was there the night that he died. She was his doctor. Meredith said she killed him. Oh, well, hang on. No, Penny was just going to tell me what happened, right? How my brother died. It's about who we believe we are. This is a mistake. I don't think I can do this. I don't think that I want to do this. I kind of went off on Gray about you. Kelly, why? Why are you making this hard? I did what I should have done at the party. friends. He was your surgeon. We make mistakes. We need to be forgiven. I will if you will. And I'm here. If, if 
you are? I'm here too. But in the end, you can't hide. And the body doesn't lie. The truth is right there for the world to see. <laughs> it's gray. She wants me all week. She still wants to work with me? Or she still wants to ruin you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's definitely one of those. Uh, Our shame can choke us. Kill us. Are you sure you don't want to just sleep? <laughs> You cannot keep this up. Gray is killing you. I know, but I can't think of that right now. Because mm. right now I'm in a bed. Comfy. Comfy bed. With you. Mm. Did you just fall asleep? Got it. Uh, hello? Uh-huh. Of course it is. Yeah. Of course it is. This is ridiculous. Uh, no, absolutely, absolutely, I can. Uh huh. No, of course. Who's Mr. Jaffe? Well, osteosarcoma. It involves the frontal and the occipital bone. It's locally very aggressive. It's a lovely tumor. It's almost cute. Just plop there. Hello. He's waited 18 months for this kidney. We finally have one, and now he has cancer. What if he didn't? Then what? I have cancer. His tumor has gorgeous margins. It's like a ripe, juicy piece of fruit just hung low on the branch. I could reach in and pluck it. No cancer. No problem. You can do that? No. Even if you can remove oh, it. Oh, I can. Well, he's left with a gaping hole in his head. No skull, no skin to cover it. I fix brains. I give you your soft gooey center. The hard candy shells, your department. No, there's no way to close it. Not even a rotational flap. There's nothing to work with here. And a wound that size, when his immune system is already compromised, that could kick him off the transplant list. We have less than 24 hours before we lose the kidney. So, Wilson and Edwards, I need ideas. Crazy ideas, smart ideas. Give me anything that will close Mr. Jaffe's head so he can survive the surgery. Go, hit the books, find me something. Absolutely. Dr. Gray? Should I look too, or? Blake, no, you should um, go monitor the donor. Do that. Make sure the brain dead guy is still brain dead. Got it. Skull transplant. Skull and scalp, actually. Our kidney donor is a perfect match for Mr. Jaffe, which means that he's also a match for the skull and scalp. Lower risk of rejection. He's everything. We'll have all the vascularized bone and skin that we need from the donor. Have you done this before? I haven't. It's been done once. It's a complex surgery, but I think it'll work. Same donor, same surgery. Well, I'll start on the tumor while you two start organ recovery. Let's go get our kidney.
go to sleep. Mm-hmm. Early rounds. I don't know. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Good night. Good night. I love you. Thank you. Everything looks good here. All right. Let's hope that we don't come back to ER for a while, okay? <laughs> Thank you for taking such good care of her. You okay? Okay, of course. And, uh, Sophia is okay, which is what really matters. Okay. I mean, it, w- it, w- it would have been nice to get a page, um, before you treated her. Well, I just wanted to make sure I had all the information before I pulled you out. No, right, of course. Or you could have tried Krev. He's in Peds. Or Gray, who Sophia's grown up knowing. Gray is the day off, and Krev just left. Or Bailey. You want me to page the chief of surgery for a head black? Mm-hmm. Yeah. What's going on? She's my kid, and she doesn't know anything about you. We haven't even had that conversation. Oh, so okay. This is about what I said last night, isn't it? The last thing that I wanted to do is make things weird. It's Arizona. She's glad that you helped. Obviously, she's not mad, but she's not ready either. You and I, it's all happening so fast, and we're so new. Oh, God. I know. What was I thinking? It's fine. It's fine. Your heart was in the right place, and she'll be ready one day. Okay, absolutely. I'm sorry. I can wait. Here you go, Sophia's chart. All clear. Thank you. And don't worry, I didn't discharge her myself. I Bailey do it. Chief says she's good. She must be good. Look, Penny, I'm sorry. I should not have lied. If we are not in the same place. If you aren't ready to be where I am, that is fine. You can tell me, and I will listen. If you aren't ready for me to meet Sophia, great. That is your decision. But making me feel like crap about trying to help, lying to me, that is not okay. to fix my head. Yes, she is. And she is a very special doctor. You remember her name? Penny. Her name is Penny. Hi, Penny. Hi, Sophia. How's your head? Good. We decided that stitches could only be made better with ice cream. And I thought maybe you might want to come with us. We are in the same place. I'm in the same place as you. I've been there a while. I just... I would like for you to come get ice cream with us. Very much. And you can say no. I would understand. I'm not saying no. Then what do you say? Thank you. Still think I should wait until next year to apply for the grant. Why? You're eligible now. Technically, but they always give the grant to a senior resident anyway. Except for when they don't. So you think I should try? Look, if this is what you want, then sure, apply. It's just, I'm finally getting settled in here. I have friends. I just met Sophia. I don't want to run across the country for a year. I can wait. I want to be here. Well, I can accept that. (laughs) Ow. Fractured pelvis? I stepped on my horse. So tomorrow's the day. Come and grant, yes or no, stay or go. Oh, you haven't given them an answer yet. You thought I would have given them an answer and not talked to you about it? No. No, I'm just saying the Preminger grant's a once in a lifetime opportunity. If I say yes, I will be moving to New York for at least a year. Right. And you're fine with that? Are you fine with that? Well, like you said, it's once in a lifetime. Yep, well, gotta get this pelvis into the ore. <clears throat> Thank you.
You ignored the moment completely. What moment? The moment where I say, go to New York, and then you ask me to come to New York with you. The moment. What? N wait. You didn't even want me to meet your kid. No, you met my kid. My kid loves you. It's fine. Kelly, you live here in Seattle. You, you have family. You have a job. You can't just drop everything and move to New York. I know, but still. Still what? It, it would have been nice to have been asked. What? You are the most adorable woman I've ever seen right now. Really? And of course, I want you to come to New York with me. But it's impossible. There is, always, long distance. Uh -huh, that's true. Weekend trips. Dirty phone calls. Oh. Exactly how dirty? <laughs> oh, God! Um, uh, I need a suture kit. No, you know, I actually, I don't need it. Bye. Good. I thought today was going to be bad. I mean, epically bad. But I got Mare and Hunt. See, I told you, Mare was gonna side with you. I think, I think we have a real shot at this. I feel better than I did this morning. How are you? I spent the day with Dr. Robbins. I was on her service. Oh, God. How was it? Was it terrible? Was she terrible to you? Not at all. She was great. No matter what the judge decides, I know that you're a good mom, too. And I just want you to know this doesn't change that. The things that you let them say about me, I would never have done that to you. Never. I'm sorry. The judge is ready for you? All rise and come to order. Honorable Judge Madeline Kane presiding. Please be seated. I've taken all testimony and evidence in this matter under submission. And after careful consideration, my ruling is as follows. I hereby grant sole physical custody of Sophia Robin Sloan Torres. If you're wondering how the Solomon story ends... Did you get all your things from upstairs, Sophia? Your books and everything? Spoiler alert. The true mom would rather give her baby up than have it ripped in two. Hi, sweetie. But what happens when there are two true mothers? situation. Either come in or stay out, but don't do whatever it is you're doing. Okay. I was thinking, uh, maybe I could postpone leaving for just a little while, just until things are better, until you and I are, are better. What's the point? <laughs> what, two days, a week? 
We both know how this ends. No, I don't. <sighs> but apparently you do. So, why don't you enlighten me? All right, me? look, we'll drag this out. Sure, you can wait here and things will get superficially better and then you'll leave. And then we'll let things taper off the way things taper off over long distance and then we'll be sorry and we'll make promises that are just lies. It's all a lie because I'm not leaving without Sophia and you would never forgive me if you gave up your grant. So I'm stuck here, Penny. I am stuck and there's no good solution. Kelly, why won't you look at me? Are you breaking up with me? Is that it? Maybe instead of dragging this out. Maybe we should just call it now. Yeah, we should. You should go. 